Krásný dobrý den ve spolek vítěte u jedenáctého dílu Zaklínač divoký hon. Pojďme na to. Let's go. Oswin, where's Oswin? Anyone seen him? I believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire? You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple? Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses. See what I can do. Hurry now, quick! You've earned yourself a barrel of Lyrian! I know your wife miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating them for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? 
Mm-hmm. Not good. They ran from you, didn't they? Hey, uh, uh, Geralt, a ty jako nemůžeš uskakovat na jednou. No proto. We need to talk. Sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Tamara. Not once. And on Anna. That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. Mm. Expect me to believe you are a loving father to Tamara after that scene in the courtyard? You're free to believe whatever you wish, but she was always the apple of my eye. She had the run of the place, ask anyone. She'd ride the horses, hunt with the men, at times join them on their rounds. And they'd send for her when I flew into a rage, for only she could calm me. Make it sound like she led a charmed life. If that's the case, why'd she run? I'd hardly need you if I knew. Your wife, how'd she make you angry? Too much salt in the soup? Socks never darned? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Twenty years we've known each other. She's seen me drunk and sober. She was there to greet me when I returned the victor. She was there to patch me up in defeat. Like no other, she knew where to press, where to pinch, so it would hurt. You beat her? For that? For criticizing you? Ah, oh, Witcher, you haven't a clue, have you? Well, perhaps I shall tell you about it one day. One day, but not today. You knew they had run away from the start. Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? Gotta admit I do think you're a prick. Not because you couldn't control them, but because you drove them away. What? Don't play the idiot. You gave them no choice. Anna and I. It wasn't as it seemed. Seems. All right, I'm all ears. Tell me what happened. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle.
Mara a present for all this? She see you quarrel. Through the doorway, perhaps. She didn't enter the room. Shame, too. Things might have turned out differently. The sight of her always calmed me. Signs of a fight in the room. Hole in the wall, wine all over the landing. Was that you? Oi. We tussled. She tried to whack me on the noggin with a candlestick, but kept missing. Hit the wall and the pillar instead. I staggered backwards onto the table, spilled the wine, slipped and tumbled. Anna used that moment to flee. She rushed down the stairs, still clutching that damn candlestick. I caught her on the landing. We fell. I thought I had her. Then she turned and smacked me in the head. I blacked out. Don't know what happened next. When I came to, I was alone. What happened next? Next? It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. I thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenseless, on bloodied sheets, dead. And it was my doing. Maybe you're doing, maybe not. But that amulet she wore could be important. Or maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? What was I to do? Took it out and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher. My child was dead. I sympathize. I do. Thank you. And know that I hope you find your Siri. Deal we made means I need to find Tamara and Anna first. Just so happens your unborn daughter might help us do that. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... fucking what? <laughs> a cursed creature that draws strength from killing pregnant women. Once it's strong enough, it attacks those who scorned it. But how... how does it know? Blood ties. They're a strong bond. A bond I want to use to find your family. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob, a guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Still not sure what to do. Whatever you decide, we must put an end to my child's suffering. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. Mm-hmm. 
The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Let us stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. And try to sober up. Do I take a shovel to dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. A bit further. Follow me. You give the child a name? No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. Here's the spot. Shows a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now I've done wrong. Mm -hmm. Good. The grave's dug up and empty. What's that mean? Watch things on the prowl. us in the arse before we know it. Keep screaming and it will turn rabid. It's calm for now. Bloody hell. What happens when it gets plowing restless? It'll bite through your jugular and you'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling. I'll calm it with magic. Pick it up. Take it in your arms. The merciful gods. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Back to the fortress. What? With this? As I recall, you were the one wanted to test the old legends, change it into a lubricant. Oh, fuck.
Hey! No, ja, ja, ne, wiem co. Chosen a name? No. So think of one. It's important. Hmm. It's it's a girl. What would Anna have named her? Repeat after me. By the power 
powers of Earth and sky. By the powers of Earth and sky. By the world that was to be your home. By the world that was to be your home. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. I name thee, say her name, and embrace thee as my daughter. I name thee, Daya, and embrace thee as my daughter. What now? In one day's time, Dea should turn into a lubberkin. I'll stay here and wait. You go home. I'll wait with you. Out of the question. But that's my child. And the guilt, the responsibility for all this, lies with me. Time for parental impulses? It's long past. Besides, nothing else you can do here. But no buts. Just Witcher's work left to do here. Gotta wait a day and a night for the botchling to turn into a lubberkin. That's it. Go home. And try not to drink yourself stupid again. You, white one, think your two swords could take on 40? By blood's power I summon you. With your name I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea. Lead me to those bound to you by blood. Kde pěkným slalomem, jestli nemá na to náhodou. No to jsou teda zvědavá, kam nás dovede. Hehehe, he, he, budu tam první. Hej, a tak jako už tam budem. Hmm, to pivci, super. A tak co, mám je porubat nebo spěchat za duchem? Čeká, to je dobrý. 
dobrý. Ne, já, že si to jde pěkně po cestičce, jako. No, jde, spíš pluje. No, jasně, jakmile jsem to řekla, jak zabočil. No to asi jo. Tak, železná ruda, jasně, bavlna, proč ne? Tak, kopítka. Hmm. Ježíš, to už si říkal. Potvorem, jak koukám, to je nějaká rychlá potvora. Tak, pěkně poruben. No krásná práce. Ježíš zárodek, já jsem četla zadek. Já už neumím číst absolutně. Tam, kde jsou příšery, že jdeme. No ale no no. Necrophages had a field day. Still worth a closer look. Ale duchu, nechceš mě jako pomoct, ty poruba. No, hm, hm, super. Jo, tak ještě jednu a lépe. Tak, cestu známe. Můžeme svištět. Já duch nám nějak jako zaostává. Tož co je? Je já nebudu ti vadit, když si schrupnu. Nebude mu to vadit. To je dobře. Tak. Třetí krucíš. Ale... Ty vole, oni tady mají hnízdo. 
A pátej, ty vole. Špica. Jo, šup, 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 pryč. No to jo, to každopádně. Tak, zkoumej. Tak to projedem všecko. Head to unclear off. Takes incredible strength. Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. Chewed on the saddle. Hmm. Necrophages will eat anything these days. <laughs> Bones have been here a while. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Hmm. <coughs> Trail goes on. Good thing it doesn't end here. Ne, vlky ne. Těch je vždycky hodně a vždycky mě to trvá strašně moc pokusů, než to zabijem. Ne, běž pryč, běž pryč, vlku běž pryč. Tak. Seems she wants me to take a closer look. Nerky. Zlomené veslo. Oh. Jsem nečekala, že tam někdo bude, teda. Hello. Another room. Go on now. What you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Mm -hmm. Just need information. Looking for two women, the Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure, not even passing through. Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, Mummy? Hello, hello, hello. Oh, boy. I want to help that woman. She could be in danger. Young and see no one, my lord. He's a kid. Must have dreamt it. I want to hear this dream then. So, kid, who did you see? Who came here? Pappy brought her at night. The lady does the medicines. She was all afeard. Talked about an awful monster. Said she had to go back. Don't know where to. Mummy and Pappy cheered her up. Gave her clothes. Hers were ragged. Hmm. Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough. No point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is hi. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. Uh -huh. But Mrs. Anna, that's another type. Though anywhere is better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Cause, cause he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Mm -hmm. Everyone knew. But not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah, twere like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. The cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had arisen high, 
and still they hadn't come. They began to fear some demon had snatched them. But finally, they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose, thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising a racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. But then I saw it, fiery marks on her hands. Hmm. Why help them at all? You risked a lot. I did that. Old Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara alerted him, brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me, a time of war and contempt's come. A time of folk gone wrong. We needs to repay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. Crying shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. Fine. What happened next? Grew even darker. Seemed someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden. And then, from the woods, a roar. Broke out in a cold sweat. And before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. I thought I was done for. Beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy-nilly. It was the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother, but my wife pleaded, said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. What marks? These, well, like burned on with hot iron, on the palms, inside. Burned? Like a cattle brand? Aye, though no, these wasn't black scars scabbed over. These hot and glowing, as if they burned with raw fire. Thanks for your help. The lady. She'll be all right in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is. You tell you, brow task a kluku. Hey, tady nebudeme asi úplně krást, když jsou chudí jako stelní myši. Tak co zmizneš? Your paths diverge. Thank you, Dea. Go in peace. OK. Je, bodíky dostupné, tyjo. Hmm. Ne.
Dobře, tak se k němu vrátíme. <coughs> Ron Vít Maloblacký. Do střehu, jo. No to jsi nevybral dobrého soupeře. To honor made Bilbury fairest of all maids I know by dueling a hundred knights to the death. Now, draw your sword post haste, for I've knights in hand left after you. Hi 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 hi. Proč zrovna se mnou? Why are you challenging me? Don't recall doing anything to offend the maid Bilbury. Well, why? Um. Then swear, swear, made Bilbury's the most loveliest of all. Thing is, I've never laid eyes on her. Aha! Ah! I shall wash your scorn away with thy blood fiend. Stand and fight. Nechceš. No, I yield. <laughs> Had enough? Yes. Luck stood with you. Not to be you. But, but the next time we meet. Go back to mate Bilberry and apologize for being an ass. <laughs> Quick, before I change my mind and break your bones. We shall meet again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tak určitě. Asi bude pršet a nevším si s Geralta, že už prší. Nebo to blbě přeložili, poněvadž já jsem slyšela Looks like rain. Jich přeložila jako, že to vypadá jako dešť. Nebo vypadá to na dešť. Na tomto místě končíme. Mějte se báječně, ahoj.